surrender or die. Tinbu sent Rochet to this set of individuals. See what was announced. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got in here this morning. Well, our headline for this morning says here that surrender or die as Tinbu sends raw trade to this set of individuals. See what was announced. The president of Nigeria, President Bola Metinibu, has issued a stern warning to bandits, terrorists, and other non state actors destabilizing the country, urging them to surrender or face decisive military action. Speaking during the Ignora International Lecture organized by the news agency in Abuja on, on Thursday, Tinibu emphasized that his administration has reached its limits with the disruptive activities of this group. He stressed that a combination of both kinetic military and non kinetic diplomatic strategies are now in place to neutralize criminal elements. The president, represented by National Security Advisor Nuhu Ribadu, conveyed that the government patience has worn thin, and those responsible for the ongoing violence has limited time to either lay down their arms or face dire consequences. Cowards, idiots, bandits, kidnapping for ransom are violent extremists, bad people. I can assure you we are here to confront you. Enough is enough, he declared, pointing out that these criminal groups have been terrorizing Nigeria for over 15 years now. Tinbu highlighted that this group have constantly interfered with Nigeria commerce, education, healthcare, and infrastructure, asserting that their activities will no longer be tolerated. It has to stop. It will stop. Emphasize giving the clear ultimatum. If you want to leave, stop this. If you want to live your life, end it now. While he reiterated the government's willingness to engage with those willing to surrender, he made it clear that failure to do so would result to military forces. Windows are open, doors are open. If you're ready to surrender and stop, do so, otherwise you know what's coming, Tinibu warned. The president also vowed that the prevalent kidnapping for ransom in Nigeria would soon be eradicated. He described the crime as cowardly and an economic surge that has replaced traditional armed robbery. He de- we defeated armed robbery before, before in this country. We will also defeat kidnappers. It's only a matter of time, he assured. Well, turning to issues of government, Tinibu has also Tinibu also warned corrupt officials within the system to be cautious at his administration. Is fo- as his administration is focused on promoting accountability and strengthening institutions, even those who corrupt people be careful. It will come for you. It's coming, he cautioned. In addition to security, the president reaffirmed his administration's commitment to improving infrastructure, job creation, and social services, pledging that his economic policy would soon yield visible results for Nigeria. But that was all for now concerning what was said for you guys concerning this headline today this morning. We says it as surrender or die as tenable sends raw threat to this set of individuals. See what was announced. Well, of course, had it for me this morning. And if you're not a subscriber, the best you can do right here, right now is to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the next future to come. Well, <clears throat> you can see that the president is telling those bandits that they should surrender or die. Yes, I like the fact that the president now is facing his normal, is uh, is normal waiting for a peaceful approach, like a peaceful negotiation with all these bandits. No, he's telling them now surrender or die because they are tired of all this banditry, all this insecurity in this country. They want to end it as quick as possible. And I like that part. I like I like that route that the president is taking. Yes, they, they should fight fire with fire, and let's see whose fire burns brighter. That's how the law of survival is. Well, President Tinibu, the President of Nigeria, issued a very big warning to those bandits and terrorists and other non-state actors who are destabilizing this, this country. Yes, he urged them to surrender or face what he called decisive military action. Or, or face decisive military action. And this action that we're talking about, it may lead to them dying or something like that because it, it's true. It's, they, it's, it's them that they, they that always feels the consequences. Mm-hmm. Let us forget about all that Chekai Gumo was saying, saying that a peaceful negotiation with bandit that can never work in this country. That cannot work. Do you know how many people this bandit has killed? 
Do you know how many territories this bandit has overtaken? So it is time to go fully, fully go. To, it's, it's time to just turn fully red on them right now. It's time to take take the, the, this um, insecurity. To it's time, it's time to solve this insecurity problem. It's time to take all these bandits to the next level. Yes. What Nigeria as a whole were tired of hearing that uh, bandit bomb this, bandit kill this, this, this all, all those stupid news, that, uh, all, all those news. That, uh, uh. A lot of people in the northern part of the country cannot even sleep now with two eyes closed. Mm -hmm. They are always sleeping with one eye open because they have to be safe. You, uh, you, you don't know when bandits will just come and attack and raid and kidnap people for ransom. Yeah, mostly kidnapping people for ransom. Kidnapping people for ransom. And now the president is saying enough is enough. And uh, to me, I really, really support that saying. Enough is actually enough right now. Enough is enough. It's high time that insecurity becomes something of the past. He didn't just talk about this bandit though. He was also telling all those politicians too that, 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 that are spoiling his administration. He said, you two guys, enough is enough. Food. Nobody said he not see you. He sees you. Politicians, politicians want to turn his administration to another thing. He also sees you. Yes, he's also looking at you. Because we, 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 our, our economy too cannot just be, uh, the graph of Nigeria cannot just be going down and you expect Nigerians to keep quiet. He's seen those ministers who, just, who are just there to, to, to embezzle all those corrupt officials within his system. He's telling that you guys should be cautious too. That he and his administration is focused right now on promoting accountability and strengthening institution and also getting rid of all these bandits and terrorists in this country. That is all he and the administration is focused focus on right now. Or what do you guys think concerning all this? Drop a comment in the comment section concerning this and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as a big red one with the notification bell. So that anytime I have any new video, you will be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.